think <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Is it's, that my, a, it's my sparkly, it's my sparkly tambourine because two seconds. Happy birthday, Vanessa! Belated birthday. <laughs> hey, you turned the big six oh. Go ahead, girl. Handle it because you look fabulous. Your hair looks hey. good. I really love that color. Did you change the color? Well, the, sun. Sun. the sun. Yeah, it's a lot of I got it done before I left, and there's a lot of sun. So yeah, yeah so I like it. it up. Thank you. All right. Well, listen here. We've got Vanessa for a little bit, so we're gonna just jump right into it. Married at first sight, Nashville. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with Vanessa's favorite couple. Vanessa, and that I think I think that's Vanessa's favorite couple, Aris and Jasmine. Well, on, I, I was I, I was gonna start off with the body paint because that was a little bit uh, the body paint with Shaq. That was yeah. um, please. Let's discuss it. Like, why go with the whole, like, aren't you supposed to paint, like, a, a design or something? Okay. All right. And Here's is my sexy? thing. Is that a sexy, is that a sexy activity? It's like. To, like. He, he. They've done it before. He read it wrong. Because I was watching it, and I was like, bruh. Like, the, the body paint, that's, like, an intimate thing. Like, I'm like. I'm not going to go and change into my unmentionables and then stand on the table and be like, <laughs> and let you paint me. Like, I'm like, it should be both of us and our little unmentionables. And, oh, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to, oh, and a, oh, and a, oh, and then a, oh, and then a right to the lips and let's get to the bed and kick the camera crew out and let's roll. He well, drew yeah, they did do the strawberry whipped cream thing toward the end. So that finally we see a kiss, which, you know, Jeez. hallelujah. But was it me? Is it just me? Or was that awkward AF? Because he literally, the whipped cream in her mouth, and then he put the strawberry in his mouth, and he went, and I was like, oh, Shaq, Shaq, a little bit. <laughs> like, he just went, and he was like, ha ya ha And now all of a sudden, he well, did it again. Well, he's, got, like, he's got to, but, he, but he's got to now because... If she wants him to be aggressive and kiss kiss her, that's what he's got to do. She wants. She doesn't want him to be like, "Can I kiss you?" Or I don't either. I do not like her. It's it's very weird because she says, "I'm I want to be in it. I I I want him to be you know my partner, and I want him to understand me." But she's saying things, and I'm just not. Is she feeling them? I'm not getting her. I'm not getting her at all. And I don't think he wants her anymore. Yes. I don't think so either. I don't think he does. He doesn't smile at all. He looks at her and just, no. yeah, you read that he's 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 kind of out. Yeah, he definitely, for me, I see that he's definitely checked out. I don't, and she just seems like she's, oh, when she was talking about her business, remember we were all saying like, does she really have a job? And but she wanted him to pay for pushing out the babies or something. She's yeah, like you you buy the house, I'll push out the babies. Yeah, but then yesterday she was well, I saw it this morning. She was talking about him helping her with her like logo and everything at the table. Did you see that? Right. And I get it. You know, you get him involved in your stuff. I just don't get her and him together anymore. And wait a minute, she what? wanted him to do everything. Like, if you going to start your own business with your own brand, you got to bring some type of imaginary to the table. Like, she's just like, oh, I'm sick and you can help me with my logo. And he just gets out his little journal and he starts get. oh, I like that. I like that. And she was getting all flustered and whatever. And then she's like, but can you do my website too? It's like, she, I'm like, boo-boo. Like, you she start your own business, how do you not have, like, the basics? How do you not have, like, the basics of a website or a website, period, and a logo, a brand logo, period? And then if you meet somebody that is talented, that has that creative side to them and say, hey, this is what I've done. Can you see, 
you know, me improving on it or can you improve on it? No, she's like, okay, you can do it. And then she's sitting there like, oh, that makes me, I'm attracted to him on that. And I'm just like, you're lazy ass. You just want him to do everything, including buying your house while you push out babies. And then she was upset the about him not kissing her on him not kissing her on the forehead when he wasn't the one day that he wasn't thing. feeling. And so I was like, you know what? Just stop. Yeah, I think he's over. I think he's done. The adopter Pepper called that. She said the kissing on the forehead's got to stop. You need to move on. You need to move on. She said that's yeah. That's creepy right now. Yeah. At, yes, it is. At this point, your wife. Yeah. You kiss your child on the forehead, right? I mean, I don't have no children, but I'm thinking if I had like a 10 year old or something, I'd be like, come here, baby. Mwah. Have a good day at school. Not my, I don't want my man kissing me on the forehead. No. Yeah, and not kissing me nowhere else. <laughs> Problematic. All right. <laughs> but they did it, though. I have nothing else. To they do. did it. They did it. I got to make sure. I got to look at my notes real quick before but I, I did thought Dr. Pepper did was task? better in this episode. Yeah, they Who had was? sex. You think they so? They had sex that night. Yeah, yeah. it was confirmed. Kirsten and Kirsten and Shaq. Yeah, but not yet. And well, they had sex, but it wasn't. They constantly the rest. I think it was, it was, it was that night. Next week. Yeah. Right, oh, but they had that sex was... that night. Oh, that's huh? very shocking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wow. I told y'all though, she needed somebody. Did I not say this twice already? She needs a dude that's going to be like, because she wanted that aggressive brother, that alpha man that's going to be like, come here, girl. She needed something. It's not because he doesn't care. It's because he doesn't care anymore. Yeah, I know. And there's no desperation because he's such a nice guy and trying to please her. Now he doesn't give a fucking shit about her. Now he's like, okay, I'll paint you. <laughs> yeah, I'll just use her. I'll use her as a canvas and just get my brush out and you know. And Chris, back to what you were saying, and Vanessa and me too, about him kind of like checking out. When you go back and you listen to him on Keisha Knight Pulliam's show, you can see he he left hints that he was really done with her. You know, um, mm-hmm. from from his interviews. I don't think going forward, I don't think it's going to be her chasing him. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You're you're probably right. I wouldn't be surprised. I, that's all I got on Kirsten yeah. and um Shaq. Mm-hmm. So let's just slide right over to okay, Vanessa. Who yes. either who you want to who do you want to go to next? We can do we can do Aris and Jasmine. Uh and you know, uh I'm trying to think Dr. Pepper was talking about oh her. Her background, how she, her parents, she never saw her parents fight and that, you know, so she seems like she had a nice middle class, you know, normal household, you know, didn't have to experience a lot. So she's not really used to going deep where he is kind of, but again, I, what I, is he? yeah, exactly. Look, I, from the beginning, I said about Eris, he is terrified. He's scared to be close to someone, and he even said it on the thing because everyone has died on him. He's afraid to be close to anyone for afraid of losing them. And that's why he's not – because he that's why he's still in it, and that's why he's still, you know, this way, because he knows that she would be good for him and all that kind of stuff, but he's afraid to connect. That's why he's never been in love. That's why he's never been married. All that stuff, he is too – it's out of fear. I'm telling you, it's out because there's nothing wrong with that child, that woman's body. Because when she was nope. at the, you know, the first one month date thing, I was like, okay, I was like, it can't be just an ass that he keeps talking about. Mm-hmm. But he is terrified. He is terrified of connecting with someone because he's holding on to his friend that died when he was younger that left him, and his father that that abandoned him too. He's worried about someone he loves being gone. I called it from the beginning. I'm telling you, it's fear. I still don't believe it, sir. I don't. I don't think. I don't think he's attracted to her. And he oh, talk- no. yeah, but I think there's yeah. Go on, sorry, go on. he talks the way he was talking this time. I was like, you know, Shahida, just 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 accept him for what he's saying. But I just can't because I just feel like. 
if he had an ounce of attraction to her, he would still have sex with her. That you part. Know, what does having sex have to do with being feeling like you're going to be abandoned? He had sex mm, with everybody it's, else. It's his intimacy. It's intimacy. She's done all. He says he, she's done all the things to him. She would be there for him. She would take care. She took care of him. All this kind of stuff. That's the one thing that if, if she puts it on him, he's done. He's done. And he knows. He don't want I'm it. telling you. He don't want it. I, don't I know he doesn't want it because, but that's the reason why he doesn't want it is because he's like, because there's no reason why he should be sick. There has to be some reason why he hasn't just fucked her, even had all these one night stands and this and the other, and she wants to sex with him. Why isn't he fucking her? You, it can't be just not attracted to her. It can't be. It cannot be just not attracted to her. It's your, it's his wife, and she looks good. She don't have a big ass or whatever, but fuck her anyway. She wants to be. I, I know, but according to him is what I'm saying. I, I think it's purely fear of him being intimate and really getting. And he's married to her, but he's 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 afraid. He's afraid because if she puts it on him, he's done, and he doesn't want to feel done. He wants to be in control of his emotions and his intimacy and all that kind of stuff. That's why there's no reason why he shouldn't be fucking her. I'm trying to find a reason for besides not being attracted to someone. Anyway, for a man. I mean, we've seen the women who are not attracted to the men saying, I don't want to fuck him. But I haven't seen a man say, I don't want to fuck my wife. That's what I'm saying. Or a girl. Yeah. yeah he's, <laughs> or a girl, he's, right. So there has to be something more than just the attraction. It has to be. Goodness. No, he's admitted he's a freak, basically, with the orgies and not getting enough and, you know, going to bed with somebody right before, you know. So he, his sexual drive, his persona which he loves to talk about. And that's what he wears as his shield of, you know, being a big man, 39, whatever. He, it did, did he not want to give that up? And is this, is, is he's faking us out like Dominic and, you know, like, did you really not want it? Uh, what were you expecting out of it? If you could continue to lead with, you know, well, oh, you haven't done any of that. Well, you're, yeah, you're, he's, he's judging her for not being the freak and, that he is. So I, I don't know whether that fear, I mean, I don't know where that fear comes in from him dealing with somebody who's kind of, I don't want to say she's a prude, but she's mm -mm. no, but go ahead. listen <laughs> again, I'm going to go back to the experts on this because why wasn't this conversation had pepper and Cal, you got this man on here that is obviously still reeling off of the loss of his murdered father, his best friend that killed himself, his other college friend that what got hit by a car and died or whatever the hell. Mm -hmm. And everybody close to him apparently just dies. That that's three whole ass red flags right there. Like, I'm not going to introduce you. Like we all are friends. I'm not going to introduce you to a friend of mine. He could be the best thing since sliced bread. But if he's got all this, these issues, I'm going to be like, bro, before I introduce you or we make this little connection, you're going to have to, you're going to have to figure that shit out. You gonna get some help and work through that because what you're not going to do is marry somebody with all that shit. And then you're going to come into the process after the fact and say, well, you know, he ain't, he just ain't feeling her because if she yeah, but, had that big old Megan the Stallion booty, he would be all over her like white on rice and in love with her. I still don't think so. I, I still don't think he would. I still no, don't I think, think he would. I think he'd I find think a reason. He'd find something, another reason not to. It can't be just the ass. There has to be something else besides him not just being attracted to her for him not to just fuck her. There has to be something why else. Why are you there? I think it's his, why is he his, there? That, exactly. That that's my that's why why is he there in the first place? But going back to what the what the the, the experts say, maybe if he's forced to be in this marriage situation and has to deal with his emotions and dealing with therapists like this, and has a woman who's willing to deal with him and this kind of stuff, that's his only shot. I, that's what I think. That's what they thought that they could they could do with this situation. It's like oh. He's almost there, but he's a little broken. And if I can find a queen that he wants and this, that, and the other and put them together because she really wants it and she's attracted to him, they can put them together. Maybe it could work. He's just terrified. 
because he should have slept with her already. And she wants to sleep with him. But and, and, and then but you're saying too, I get it, he might be terrified. I, let's give him that. But then you see how you are treating her. She's feeling insecure. You did you he's actually just mind effing her because he's not making not he's far. making her feel like she's not enough. And how many mm-hmm. times do women always take what the man does as like, oh, I'm not enough? You know, what can I do to change me? And she's like, she's done all this to make to get to a point where she loves herself. And here she is now in a marriage with a man who, who's not even feeling her. That's more hurtful. And she, oh, I, I, I agree with you. I agree. it all came out when they got those little strips of questions, questions. and he's mm-hmm. asking her and she's like, mm, yeah, I don't know. She, it wasn't that she, I didn't take it that she didn't care about telling him anything. I think it was, she was at her point where she's like, why? I'm done. why? You know yeah. what? Why are we doing this? Like, right. why am I yeah. here? Why am I? Why am I about to be vulnerable with you and answer these stupid ass questions? Right. I'm done, and it's not fair to her. It isn't. No, and he should have never been. He should have never been. All the friggin' people in this world, and you chose lifetime. Do better. You chose him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. They did. Agree. For somebody as nice and vulnerable as her, that's what mm-hmm. makes me so angry because she's she seems like a very nice person. And I get, you know, when she said you do some way she's kind of sheltered. And it, it, it's like you can have street smarts and still be kind of sheltered from like people like Eris. You know, mm-hmm. all she's asking for you to do is try and be intimate with her, show her some affection the way she he wants her husband. It. She's dreamed he, about this. He needs right. to walk she away. She said that. He needs to walk away. Yeah. yeah, she does. But I'm telling you, he's afraid. He's afraid of losing she someone. He's away. afraid, of being, in, he's afraid of being in love with her and losing her. He's afraid of being in love, love with her and being married to her and being in love and losing her. That's why he's never been in love. That's why with his between his father. That's why his father's pictures on his bedstand and on his neck, on a necklace and a neck. Weird, but yeah, I weird. digress. So, I'm Chris, yeah, think, he's so yeah. You you so. think that he's gonna say no and make up an excuse because he's really never wanted to commit in the first place? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he's gonna say no, and that and and the the, the ass thing is just an, and and also. He does, I think he really does care about her and really likes her who she is, but he can't be the person that he needs to be for her. So he's trying to pre- not sleep with her to pre- kind of protect her to a certain extent. So that's why he made the rule of like, let's not sleep together. But even her mother was like, you never know what's going to happen. Why don't you fuck my daughter? You should fuck my daughter. He's like, ah, you know, I think he's really trying to, pre- as he would look at it, protect her from him because he can't handle it. He can't handle that shit. He can't and handle it. That was it. worse. Did did he invite them? I know it's all part of the show, but even having that conversation with the with the with the mother, that's mother. game playing to me. You know, that's manipulative. If you don't really have any interest, you're pretending or you're afraid of something, you're not going to actually make any steps to get over that. So why involve other people? Why involve that girl's family? And she was down for it. She's like, I feel Eris is really opening up. I'm like, what are you? What do you think? You won't see. I was like, stop, woman, stop. You're making it worse. And he's just like... No, that's on him. Just, oh. That's on him because what he did was invited her mother over there to have a conversation, all right? And then he made it seem like he's the communicative one. Mm-hmm. Well, right. and you, all he had was that question day that he asked her questions and she was dismissive of it. Mm-hmm. And then he brought yeah. her mama into the mix and was like, you know, I feel like I, I opened up one time, motherfucker, you opened up about your dead best friend, your dead college roommate, and your murdered daddy. And now all of a sudden, you're the most communicative motherfucker on the planet. Shut your damn mouth. I was screaming at the TV. And then he, brings her, mother into it. he brings her mother into it and then starts talking to her mother like, I'm the one that's doing all the communication. How can I get Jasmine to give me, I needed to give me more. I needed to talk to me more. 
Well, you ain't did shit since day one. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I don't mean. You're right. No, you're right. You're right. You're exactly right. I am Team Jasmine all the way, and my heart is just my blood pressure's up, and I worry for Jasmine because I don't need another Paige and Chris incident. And this dude is straight mind fucking her and her. He's gaslighting everybody. He fucked her. He fucked her. Then that would be like Chris and Paige. I, I, I'm you know, Team Jasmine too. But I'm Team Jasmine too, but I think Eris is, he's just can't get out of his own fucking way because he's, he's, he's terrified or whatever. But Again, you're 39 years old. Grow the fuck up. Go get some therapy before you decide you want to get married. Right. Well, why and would he even be on the show? What? With the with yeah, the well, um, experts. Yeah, why would he even be on the show? I don't understand. Why would you even put him on the show or why would you why would he be like, I want to go and get married? I think he thought it was the only way for him to be in a situation where he's forced to be married and forced to be to deal with in a relationship and all that kind of stuff. And then he realized that once he got in, he's like, I'm, I still can't do it. I'm still not ready. And I got to find an excuse not to fuck her. And now he's like, well, I, he's just all over the fucking place. But I think he's and why don't you ask that at her? And as the, as the expert... Why don't you ask these people? Because all of us, we're all of a certain friggin' age at this point in our lives. All of us have experienced some traumatic experiences in our life, whether it be familial with our families, with our spouses, with our children, with our jobs, whatever the fuck. And it's like, give me some traumatic experience that have happened in your life and how you overcame that. And if, but based on your answer... As the psychologist, I'm gonna be like, I don't think they're really over that. Right. I don't, I don't I think they even ask questions that. about trauma in the um, in the interview. Well, if they don't, they should. No, but, but, like, I'm I am my black ass. I listen. I am my black ass. I will throw some there'll street no, psychology be, on all of them. There will be no one. There will be no one on the show. <laughs> You're in trouble. Like, oh, you? No. Fix your teeth, girl. <laughs> Who about you? Lose some weight, girl. What about you? Straighten your attitude out, man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There'd be one person on there married their first unmarried themselves. Basically. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Mm. Yeah, I don't have anything else for them. No, neither do I. Yeah. Um, Vanessa, what, what are we working with? We good for now? We're, we're good. Let's uh, move on to... Um, Gina? That's yeah. fucking... I love me some Clint now. I'm sorry. And again, oh, I it me, but I like I'm sorry, I don't not like personality. Gina. Clint has got a little like quirky personality and he's got some zingers. Like when you're talking to him and you ask him a question, he's like, he, he like dro- drills him out there. And I'm like, I like you. I like me some Clint. She does. He, he does talk a lot. Though. Not at all. <laughs> huh? Yeah, they he both do talk, talk a lot. He does. He, he he talks a lot, so he'll ask her a question and then talk about his stuff too. So he needs to let her have a little bit of air to to explain her whatever her feeling is. She has no conversation. She was me. I mean, she the way she was rolling her eyes. She she did mm. not appreciate him at all. I was mm-hmm. like, she had the total stink face. Mm-hmm. The total stink total. face. I get what she's saying, and I got what he was saying to a point, too, because, you know, if you really want to know about me, ask about me. But her saying, well, and then him saying, well, you should just offer up that information to me, you know, because it would seem more natural or whatever. That's not how it works. You do have to ask people about themselves. she She wanted specific questions as opposed to, so tell me about something in your childhood. And that was enough for him. She wanted to tell me about a traumatic event in your childhood that happened when you were 10. Or that he's trying to guess. He's throwing softballs. At least he's throwing something out there. And she's not receiving any of it. She's like, well, you have to be more specific. He's like, how the fuck am I more, more specific do you want me to be? I think yeah. that's, that's what his problem was about. Because he he's trying he's asking her things. But she's like, oh, you know, I don't know. It's just. And when she opened up about, you know, her family or the parents being divorced and some of the other, I don't know. I don't like her. Go ahead. 
Sorry. She does seem I like just... a typical abandoned person. Mm -hmm. She's, you know, she does seem like she has those those traits of like a, a woman that has been abandoned and she doesn't know how to, I don't know why at this point, you know, but she doesn't seem like she knows how to really relate mm -hmm. and open to up men. to any man, not just him. Right. Well, both, both Gina and Kirsten had that same thing of, you should know what I'm thinking about. Like, I can't read your right. mind. You, know, you should, you should be able you. to, that's that. How can you serve anybody or be in a relationship? Well, you should have right. Well, I should have had to tell you that. How do I know? You know? And they're both Thank you. too old. Thank you. Yeah. Kirsten and Gina. And he, I feel like he's trying. I really feel like he's trying. He at least trying to have some sort of, if, 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 they know, both know that the marriage is not going to work, but at least no. I feel like he's at least making an attempt or, and, and being funny with the dog, about the dog, and then the dog likes him. And, dog and she's just him. like, she's just like, I'm not, you're a ginger. Just stay out of my ginger face, you know, stay out of my face. At the end of the day, they're just buddies. They're friends. Yeah. And Gina is going to, and as long as Clint is okay with it and doesn't put his foot down, Gina is going to ride that wave to get more clientele into her business because she's opening up her new brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. And when this is over and she tells him no, or he tells her no, or they both amicably, amicably say, yeah, you know, we're just better off as friends. She is going to make a hell of a lot of bank because she's going to have people coming in there just so they can see her and get their hair did. She knew what she was doing. Mm -hmm. Clout. I don't see why she 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 she, she doesn't seem like a fun person. Mm. She's and just she can't very, dress. very and dull. She can't dress, but not a goddamn. She Somebody she needs a stylist because that shit she, she be wearing too. out in public he is fucking. Does too. He him does too. Does too. His beard. I, I love a man with a beard, but I'm like, please go to a brother and have him just shape it. Dude, fix it up. His hair, everything. His wife is a, is a, is a, yeah, right it. Why That's hasn't right. his wife, why hasn't, even if out. they were friends, even if they were friends, why was she like, you know what? Let me, let me hook you up with, you know, let me, I got, I got a person yeah. in our shop that will cut the fuck out of your hair and just make you look, let's, give me that chance. She's like, I don't care how you look, you have orange hair all over my floor, I don't want it. And the fact that she, even though her, even though her style of dress is tragic, like the fact that you let your man, when they went the last episode, when they went on that hillbilly or redneck bus tour and your man comes out the bedroom before we leave to go on this hillbilly redneck bus tour and you are wearing those khaki shorts, some rap, that janky ass Jamaica t-shirt that, you know, you've been wearing the entire honeymoon and those God awful cowboy boots, and then the big giant, you know, stereotypical cowboy hat and the denim jacket. I was like, bruh, like if she that's what that was the moment I knew Gina don't give Gina gives zero fucks about this brother. Because if I thought he was attractive and I cared about him a little bit, he ain't walking out in them streets embarrassing me. Mm -mm. No, brother. No, boo boo. We gonna have to go back in the room, but, and you gonna have to put us in the same way. I don't, I don't think she knows any difference because she's wearing the same type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that she doesn't true. even know. She doesn't even know how to say, "Oh, that looks good." Why don't you put the Jamaica shirt on that we? <laughs> yeah, there, Yeah, she was horrible this episode. She was really bad. She, she was, was giving this game. episode. She was serving, she was serving no, every episode. Side and I liked it. It was. It was some mad side eye. I liked it. So I guess we could save, in, in honor of our queen, Vanessa, we can save the best for last. Ah. Yeah. Oh, God. Chris. Oh, yeah. She talks it about, came she up. Talks about That's why I pulled out my lighter, because it came up. Cigarette gate came up again and again <laughs> and again in this episode. And she needs to, she needs to retire that shit. She's so sad. I, I, I don't even know how she got to that. When she was telling that story about the shame and her um, when her mother asked her about the cigarette butt and how she, she just kind of like lied it off, I felt for her. I mean, she's, she's a nice girl. She's, I don't know. I hold is she? Because I'm talking to her like she's like maybe in her 20s. And I'm like, she's a nice girl. I want, I want things to work out for her. 
No, I don't even know how old Nicole is. I think she's. I think she's got to be like thirty ish. I thought she was like thirty. Yeah, I thought she was. Let me, oh, let she's me, like thirty. Like, er, like when I say thirty ish, I mean like early thirties, not like twenty nine or. I think she's like thirty one, maybe thirty two, thirty three. And I'm sorry, God forgive me, but every time I see Nicole, when it comes to her workout shit, I think of Jim Carrey on In Living Color when he showed up as that German bot oh, with the two oh, ponytails, yeah. with the two little ponytails up like this. Every time I see her, I'm just like, oh, that, Tanya, that is I'm no, I know, I'm going that to hell with gasoline girl, girl, on, one. and it's okay. Because be now there. I saw what you guys have been talking about her shape when she was in the gym. I didn't realize how muscular the top was. I mean, 32. Arms, huh? 32. She's 32. She's 32. Okay. Yeah. She's yeah, she got pectorals that mom. a man, a man would kill his mama for. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But she's so, was nice her girl. father in this episode? Was it her, the father came in this episode, right? Yeah, yeah, he was. And I like that conversation that he had with Chris. Yeah. I, th does anybody feel like he's holding back a little? I mean, he wants to be in, but he's holding back a little, Chris. Yes. You think so? I don't think he I don't think he's into her. I think he's I think, I think he's, he's just her. riding the wave. I think he's riding the wave and he's he's excited that she really, really likes him. The whole clingy thing is too much for me. Like when they saw Peppa and she was sitting there next to him, I've just never been that person. So for me, it's just weird that mm -hmm. I can love you and sit next to you, but I don't need to be intertwining our arms together and, you know, do this whole finger clasp thing and tapping on your knee as we're talking. Boo boo. I'm with you. You're with me. We good. There's a there's a time and a place for that, like in the bedroom with some whipped cream and strawberries and body paint. Thank you. I think you're not, you had to the Megan Markle that she's all over Harry all the time. Megan is always up on Harry, like Vanessa. I like you. Please don't talk about my girl. Oh boy, <laughs> clingy. She's very clingy. <laughs> <laughs> but you right though. You right, Vanessa, because she is. She's always it's like you, you're sitting next to him, and it's like the yeah. hand and or the the. Uh, he's just trying to be comfortable, and you got your arm like octopus around his other arm, and, you, and then you got the hand on the knee, and and then every time he talks, you're like this. <laughs> Boo -boo, slow your roll. Like what? I'm not twenty. We're not twenty anymore. This isn't like puppy love. Where like my first boyfriend out of high school, I was like, yay, I love you. I did that shit when I was like sixteen, seventeen. Now I don't, I don't do it. Don't touch me. He, he, I don't remember you with. I don't world. remember with you with your boyfriend like that. We weren't even like that. He That's right, Shahida, because we was in high school. And you know when we went to prom, I didn't even want to slow dance with his ass because my black ass don't know how to slow dance. And we did the we did the whole two steps. <laughs> <laughs> hold the hand. Right. Terrible, but I digress. Um, but yeah, cigarette gate. Mm. Yeah, enough. He 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 he's not opening up as much as she is. So mm -hmm. that's it makes me nervous, even though I still believe they're gonna stay together. I I I don't know. There's he has a wall up. Yeah. Nobody and that wall that. is that wall is yeah. as a man. I'm not a man. So Chris, feel free to chime in. As a man, do you want it's nice to feel loved and wanted? But he needs But that. I like I like that. I like that um instead of He's having someone like uh, yeah, it's too much. Instead of having someone like all on me, I love him. I love him. I love. I, I love being around him. He's great. He's this, that, and the other thing, or she's great. This, that, and the other. I would be turned off immediately. Cause give me something to like fight for. Like I like the fight thrill against. of the chase. Yeah. Like I like the thrill of the chase. Like you know, he might give me a little attitude on Monday, and I'll be like, is he not? Like he mad at me, he's not feeling me now. I'm like, oh, now I gotta, it's like a thrill for me. Like now I gotta go make sure that I look a little pretty, a little sexy. And I'm like, hey, boo, make you some dinner. Hi, do do what you want to do. Da, da, da. If I know that you're gonna just always look at me and be like, I love you. Oh, I love you. I well, love you. You gotta you remember, me. it's the same, it's the same for, for both of them. She's used to being abused and having no one give a shit about her. And he's used to chasing and chasing and chasing and no one giving shit about him. And now you have two. 
that it's almost too much. It's almost because yeah. she's just like this, and he's like, oh, you're not going to reject me at all? And she's like, oh, you're not going to burn me at all? It's like it's it's like a whole it's like a whole thing that they they won't go beyond. They don't, she, they're so used to the the other way that they can't even they don't even know where to go. Even though it should it should be. It should, <laughs> Bruh, you got me fucked up right now. That's some funny shit. No, but I'm serious ahead. because they're both oh, used. Yeah. He's so used to not being appreciated and chasing, yeah. and them treating him like shit. And she's used to having men treat her like shit. So you have two people who are, want what they want, but are so used to being treated like shit. They're not comfortable with someone treating them like you. Oh, you're. You you like me all the time. She even when she was like, you know, I want him to not do everything. You know, when he said, I don't want him to do everything just for me. And he's like, to her, he's like, I don't want her to just not like me and you know be afraid of when I don't. What did he do? Something with his dog, so he doesn't change his sheets. Remember, or the laundry, or whatever. Remember, he uh, said, yeah, he's not, he's, I mean, yeah. he doesn't wash his sheets. So, so they, like yeah, so they they and uh, probably the woman he dated before was like. You nasty motherfucker! You don't wash. You know, and he's like, "Okay, I wash them up." They both they they both need the same things, but they're just no. It's not a good dynamic, really. Even though I think they will stay together out of. Mm, but you don't think they're good. You don't off. think they're good dynamic. You don't think they're a good. Dynamic? I think it. I think it should be, but I, I don't think there's any resistance on either one of them. You know, I mean? there's no resistance on even there's there's no resistance from either one of them. She needs someone to be a little bit more, no, 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 don't do that. And he needs someone to be a little more like, oh, you're not going to chase me? They both need that kind because they're used to it. Even though they were both in incredibly abusive situations, mm -hmm. they, they still have to have that, the flavor of just something a little bit. Does that make sense? As opposed yep. to soup and crackers, it's like soup and soup. And they're mm -hmm. trying to put the, the soups together and like, you need some textures, you need some something else in there to, to break it up. Does that make sense? You need some noodles. You know, some noodles and meatballs yeah, in that noodles bitch. Is I think okay. he's going to say no. I oh. think I think he's going to say no. I, I oh. Listen, I'm, I could be wrong, but I literally assess this man's face every episode, and he all he says what he's supposed to say. Mm -hmm. He gives her what she wants verbally. And I mean, the honeymoon, what it was, the first month anniversary thing, he knocked it out the box with the helicopter ride and all of that. He does what he's supposed to do, but I think he's just going through the motions. And I think he, when, when it comes down to decision day, I think he's going to have a realization and be like, do I want to deal with this for the rest of my life? Nope. And he's going to say no. I, I don't think he would want to hurt her feelings. I think he would much rather take the sword of not being what he wants and still say yes to spare her, her feelings. Just like, I think, I think he'll, he's going to say yes. I think he's going to say when yes. And even though it's not going to work out. Like when Tanya, when you say you've noticed his face, I've been paying attention to his face too and his expressions. And I just don't think he's an expressive person. Like he just has just a, a kind of a blank look. And I don't trust <laughs> people like that. Huh? And do you trust people like that? Because I can't trust you if you you just sitting there talking to me, having a whole ass conversation, and we have a rapport together, and you giving me that blank dead ass stare. No, I can't trust time. you. I'll have a conversation with you, but then I'm out the door. No, 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 no. You got to have some expressions, and you know, we as black folks, and she's an Italian. Right, mm -hmm. his energy level really doesn't match hers. And like I said, he's not as expressive as her, but I do think that he's really into her. I think that he likes that, okay, I found somebody that is like really into me. He just is not expressive about it. We'll I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Vanessa? Mm -hmm. I, I got to jump off, but I do think that he's like, like Kirsten, like you, sometimes you can't read. It's so blank. You're like, what are you thinking? What is it? So, um, but I, I do agree with Chris. I think that he wouldn't want to hurt his feelings if they get divorced right after that or whatever, if they agree or whatever. But I, I think that they'll, they'll want to be the heroes of the show. The one couple that actually makes yeah. it. Work. And, yeah, uh, and 
and he wants kids. And she was like, put, maybe if that's if a she's big like, thing, start having kids now. And he wants a, a ton of kids. If she's willing to do that, I think he's he'll be in. And how come they haven't had that conversation again? Because that's a big one. I don't. Why would you wait? Maybe we just have Maybe we just All right, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll keep we'll keep talking. But let let Vanessa, thank you for coming thank on. You. Okay. <laughs> and we'll see you. We'll see you hopefully next week. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye, babe. Oh. Damn, that sun did something to her hair. It looks so nice. Right? I'm a little hating <laughs> right now. I need to look at my my burn. No, I don't see any difference. My, oh, oh look at your head. Oh, look at that. It's all, why did you not put no um sunblock Ooh. on there? Well, I'm black. I don't put a blood sunscreen. And now you got now you got dry balls on your head. Looking like you got elbow. Oh no, let me not say nothing because I don't want Jada. Keep Ooh. your neck. <laughs> you keep his name out your motherfucking mouth. Um, did y'all have anything else to add about these couples? Because I got I got another gripe with Lifetime. I will uh-huh. say that this is the only thing I got to say about um, the, the the whole show in general. They need to step their game up because MAFS UK <laughs> with their older couples, with their gay couples, with their lesbian couple, it's variety. Listen. Okay, I gotta watch I, it. I gotta watch listen, it. I gotta watch I, it. I literally had to pause it. I am like almost at the end of the latest episode, and I had to pause it to get on this. Listen to me when I tell you: eight couples, two, you know, a gay male couple, a lesbian couple, um, older couples, people in their fifties, and my gripe that I think I've said before is. These honeymoons, though, USA needs to step their game up with these motherfuckers. Is go- Wait, where's my phone? Because I have to take this. The Maldives. Hold on. Let me hold on. We got the Maldives. Well, that's Europe, though. That's Europe, though. That's, that's I don't Europe. Care. I don't care. We deserve that, too. We deserve something better than Mexico and Jamaica. But that's no domestic. Shame. That's domestic. That's, that's, that's close. The Maldives and care. those things are much closer. Then um, they've went. They've so what got season, what season are you are you watching? Season seven. It's the latest season. It's season seven. 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 All right. They they've got they've got honeymoons. Iceland, the Maldives, South Africa, Jamaica, Mexico, meh, Mauritius. I might have said that wrong. And Bavaria. Mauritius. Mauritius. Whatever. Mar- it's at Africa, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's Bavaria. like and Bavaria. Like- but I'm like. Yo, these are the Maldives. These people got their own. I'm, I'm the hater in me. I'm showing my hate right now because I'm like, y'all got your own little private little over the fucking water hut in the Maldives, yo. What the fuck? You gotta I watch it. That the the experts on that show are are no better than the experts we have on ours. Basically, oh, okay. Chris, we're not. I'm not gonna say anymore. You gotta watch it because what I would would love to do, yeah, what I would love to do is start off like before we, you know, get into Married at First Sight, Nashville. We gotta fucking ping ping on these UK folks. UK got their shit together. I like how the whole concept about how they we don't go through this whole selection process where you start seeing people. Like on um, the USA one, you see people, they're interviewing people that didn't get selected. They literally start off with all these people, the girl showing up at their bachelorette party and the guy showing up at their bachelor party. So the couples have been picked. The people have been picked. And then the next episodes are, they because there's so many couples, they're like, it's the 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 um they do like the experts first. sitting down talking about the first four couples. Like we we've got the first couple up is da 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 and da da da, and then it goes to like their hometown, shows what they do for a living, how their family life is, and then they don't go through that whole bullshit picking the wedding gown and the suit and all that dumb shit. It, it does go over them telling their parents that they or their family that they get married to a stranger. And then it goes right to the wedding. Lickety, lickety, lick. 30 minutes, we done went through four ass weddings. 
And then it went to the honeymoon. And then the yeah, next I don't episode. Want to talk about it because there's a couple up. that I would I would love to hear both of y'all's. Uh, there's only four episodes, so I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna watch seven. it. Seven. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Is it no? It's seven episodes. No, it's not. Not oh, yet. It's, 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 it's only episode. We're on episode four. Like I'm watching episode four right now. I watched seven episodes. Girl, I watched seven episodes. Man, at first sight. Oh, you're right. It is seven episodes. Okay. Seven oh, and it? eight are, are no seven and eight are March thirtieth. I watched March thirtieth. Is- one through seven. How did you watch it? Because the one that I'm watching now, it's, it was like two episodes in one. It was like a two-hour, it's a two-hour episode. Mm-hmm. And it was okay. the, the, the lesbian couple just got married and the black couple got married and they're off to the Maldives. But the, but they, they had the honeymoon, right? So did you get to the end of the honeymoon or was that in that episode? But maybe mm-hmm. I read it wrong. I'm not, done, I'm, not I'm not done with the episode yet. I had to pause it. So this is can, episode one, season seven. There's one, two, three, four, and then episodes seven and eight are on March 30th. So wh- where is the fifth and sixth? I don't know what's going on. I'm just oh, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you can figure that. I'm going to go look at it after this. I did see you know. five and six. Okay, I know I, 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 know I did. I want to anyway, watch with our commercials, really though. That's the only thing. It does, and a, a and a new, a new Love is Blind is on Netflix. So after I'm done with uh, UK, really? I'm going to. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go right. Love is blind. To love is blind. <laughs> Yay! Oh, they just have they just have the, the last love is blind just recently. Yeah, I mean, unless unless I'm wrong, it was, it was I I, like I got the notification. Ago. I got a notification that it was a new love is blind, but it could possibly be. I didn't go to it on Netflix. It could possibly be like an, another extension of like the after love is blind with the. I think that's couple. what it is. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay. All right, guys. Well, All look right. at here. It's been real. So uh, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Like two more hours to me. We'll see oh, you yeah. guys. We'll see you guys next week.